Eric Schmidt was Google CEO from 2001 to 2011 and has a net worth of $16.4 billion according to Forbes. All of his billions of dollars are earned during his 18 years tenure at Google and very few made billions from just employment. In this video, we will see how Eric Schmidt became a billionaire just by doing the job at Google. We at Business Chronicles tell the stories of extraordinarily successful people. Please subscribe to our channel to help us in making more videos. Eric Emerson Schmidt was born to Eleanor and Wilson Schmidt on April 27, 1955 in Washington, D.C. His mother was a psychologist and his father taught international economics at both Virginia Tech and Johns Hopkins. He was a bright and talented young man who excelled academically and ran vast distances. In 1972, he completed his high school education at Arlington, Virginia's Yorktown High School. He decided to study architecture at Princeton University because, as a young man, he desperately wanted to be an architect. However, he quickly discovered that electrical engineering was his passion and switched his major accordingly. In 1976, he earned a Bachelor of Science degree. He enrolled at Berkeley afterward and graduated with a Master of Sciences degree in 1979. While he was there, he built a system that connected the university's central computer lab to the CS and EECS departments over a campus-wide network. After finishing his master's degree, he continued to the doctoral program in EECS at the same university, where he graduated in 1982. His thesis centered on the difficulties of coordinating global software production. At the beginning of his career, Schmidt worked for several IT companies in various technical capacities, including Bizramati Design, Bell Labs, Zillog, and Palo Alto Research Center. While working at Bell Labs over the summers, he and Mike Lesk created Lex, a tool for building compilers that creates lexical analyzers from regular expression descriptions. In 1983, Schmidt became the first software manager at Sun Microsystems. In time, he worked his way up through the ranks to become Sun Technology Enterprises President, Vice President of the General Systems Group, and Vice President of Software Products. In April 1997, Schmidt was appointed Chief Executive Officer and Chairman of the Board at Novell. He oversaw Novell's decline as the company's proprietary IPX protocol was gradually phased out in favor of open TCP IP products. And as Microsoft began including free TCP IP stacks with Windows 95, reducing the company's profitability. Following the acquisition of Cambridge Technology Partners in 2001, he left the company. Google appointed Schmidt to the position of board chairman in March 2001. Just under five months later, he was promoted to chief executive officer. In this transition, Larry Page and Sergey Brin, two of Google's original founders, took on the roles of President of Products and President of Technology. The founders, who were all in their 20s at the time of Schmidt's hiring, were supposedly in need of adult supervision, and so Schmidt was brought in. All three worked together as a triumvirate to manage Google. Schmidt is credited with instituting some more standard corporate practices within the company. When Google went public in August 2004, he was in charge of the IPO and was the official spokesman for the company. During Schmidt's time at Google, the already popular search engine debuted a number of new features and services, including Google News, Blogger, Google Books, Gmail, Google Earth, and Google Maps. Google acquired YouTube in 2006, and the advertising firm DoubleClick was purchased by Google the following year. In 2008, Google released the Chrome web browser and the Android mobile operating system to compete with Microsoft and Apple respectively. In 2011, Larry Page regained the post of Chief Executive Officer of Google, which he had vacated 10 years earlier. At the same time, Eric Schmidt was promoted to Executive Chairman and withdrew from participating in the business's day-to-day -day operations. With the formation of Alphabet Inc. in 2015, a holding company in which Google would operate as a subsidiary. Schmidt was appointed executive chairman of the Alphabet Board of Directors. He remained in that role until 2018, at which point he transitioned into a technical advisory role at Alphabet. Two years later, he decided to part ways with the company after 19 years. Schmidt is one of a few persons who become billionaires from stock options earned as employees in companies they were neither the founders nor relatives of the founders. In 2006, Eric Schmidt was elected to the National Academy of Engineering, 
and in 2007, he became a fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. Along with Google's Paige and Bryn, Schmidt was named first on PC World's list of the 50 most important people on the web in 2007. Forbes magazine placed Schmidt on its 2011 list of world's billionaires at number 136, with an estimated wealth of $7 billion. It was reported in March 2016 that Eric Schmidt would serve as the chairman of a new advisory board for the Department of Defense, named the Defense Innovation Advisory Board DIAB. The board acts as a conduit between influential figures in the tech industry and their counterparts at the Department of Defense. Schmidt co-led the National Security Commission on Artificial Intelligence with Robert O. Work from 2019 to 2021. Schmidt joined Apple Inc.'s board of directors on August 28, 2006 and remained there until August 2009. Schmidt served on the Princeton University and Carnegie Mellon University boards of trustees. In the 2000s, he was an instructor at Stanford University's Graduate School of Business. Schmidt is a member of the advisory boards for both the Khan Academy and The Economist, in addition to Princeton's Institute for Advanced Study. Schmidt became chairman of New America in 2008 after succeeding James Fellows, the company's founder, and remained in that position until 2016. He was established in 1999 and New America is a nonpartisan public policy research center. Schmidt and Dror Berman established the early-stage startup capital firm Innovation Endeavors in 2010. Companies such as MassShape, Uber, Quixi, GoGoBot, BillGuard, and Formlabs received investment from the fund, which has its headquarters in Palo Alto, California. Schmidt and the U.S. government have been working together since July 2020 on a plan to establish a college dedicated to training the next generation of programmers, cybersecurity specialists, and scientists. Reimagine with Eric Schmidt, a podcast hosted by Schmidt, premiered in August 2020. Schmidt started working for Chainlink Labs as a consultant on the company's long-term strategies in December 2021. Eric Schmidt and his wife Wendy founded the Schmidt Family Foundation in 2006 to promote sustainability and encourage ethical resource use. Energy Foundation, California Academy of Sciences, Regeneration Project, Columbia Center for Children's Environmental Health, and Green for All are only some of the recipients of funding from the foundation. The Schmidt Ocean Institute uses RV Falker to conduct oceanographic research, and most of its funding comes from the foundation. For budding data scientists, Eric and Wendy Schmidt created the Eric and Wendy Schmidt Data Science for Social Good Fellowship at the University of Chicago Summer School. The Schmidts, along with the San Francisco architectural firm Hart Howerton, which focuses on large-scale land use, have launched many initiatives on the island of Nantucket that aim to preserve the island's distinctive character, while mitigating the negative effects of seasonal tourism on the year-round population. In response to the Deepwater Horizon oil spill, Mrs. Schmidt funded the Wendy Schmidt Oil Cleanup X Challenge to incentivize the development of more effective methods for extracting crude oil from seawater. In 2009, the Schmidts endowed the Schmidt Transformative Technology Fund at Princeton University with $25 million. In 2015, the foundation donated $10 million to the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Eric Schmidt was good at studies. He studied hard and Google founders who were also very highly educated as they dropped out of PhD were looking for someone who can match their academic level. They hired Eric Schmidt first as board chairman and later they promoted him to CEO. Thank you for watching our video. Subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this.